Good day everyone and welcome to day 252, turn 252 of your daily Civ 7 news update. The Kamai have been announced as an antiquity era Civ. The description reads as follows, I'm going to do my best with all the pronunciation today, I'm sorry in advance. Kamboya, the Kamai Empire, was a model of the Hindu Buddhist heavens in Southeast Asia. From its center, it projected its influence across the region. True Khmer power lay in water, as harnessing the floods of the Mekong fueled some of the largest cities in the world. But as these floods waned, so did Khmer power, leaving its dreams in ruins across modern-day Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam. The unique ability is Kaskam Chamnon. Urban districts on rivers do not remove the natural yield of the tile. Their attributes are listed as being expansionist and scientific, and they have the following civic trees. Mao Zong, Tier 1 unlocks the Beret Unique Building. Improvements, buildings, and urban districts do not get pillaged by floods, and unlocks the Pithy Shrat Tradition, which is units gain increased combat strength on floodplains tiles. Uh, the other civic tree here is Amnak, Tier 1. Yutharathi unique cavalry units gain increased movement and unlocks the Varna tradition and Angkor Wat wonder. That tradition, Varna, being increased gold from specialists. The final civic tree is Chakravati, tier 1 being increasing your growth rate for the capital and reduces your happiness for every other city, unlocks the Kamba Mera tradition. That being reduced to maintenance for specialists, and tier 2 of this civic tree is increased codex slots for the palace. So the Kamai are being positioned once again as favouring more of a tall playstyle. Note that in Civ 7 playing tall is still going to mean having lots of towns, but they'll be feeding your main cities as opposed to wide, uh, which would likely be having lots of cities all doing their own thing, providing for themselves. Uh, their unique infrastructure is the Beret. It's a unique improvement that adds food, and it increases food on all floodplains in that settlement. It must be placed on a flat tile, and you can only have one per settlement. The unique civilian unit is the Vaishya. It's a unique merchant unit, it's immune to flood damage, and it ignores the movement penalties from wet tiles. The unique military unit is the Yutharathi. It's a unique cavalry unit, and it has increased combat strength but low movement. It is immune to flood damage. Their associated wonder is of course Angkor Wat, which adds happiness, increases the specialist limit in the city, and its requirement is that it must be placed adjacent to a river tile. Their start bias is floodplains and tropical, and that's it. You can find all this information listed out on the game guide page, which I'll link in the comments below. That's all I've got for today. I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.